Hello guys and welcome back to another video at the Capital Traders Group. Now in this video I will be going through BTC. I have been getting a lot of messages about uh, crypto in particular. So I thought I'd uh, do a little update video. If you guys haven't seen the main video I made on BTC, um, I uploaded it about uh, last week. Feel free to check that out. Um, but this is a bit more in depth of what we've seen um, uh, in BTC. And, I, and, and I'm going to be uh, straight to the point and concise because I don't want to drag this uh, video out. Um, so basically we have on the left here, we have the 2017 uh, high, right? Price has come down to retest that high. Now this is what retail is going to be thinking at this level, okay? Retail is going to be thinking we have a potential double bottom on our hands, okay? They're going to expect price to push up, come down and then continue on higher. And then once we do see these levels, we'll potentially see uh, a lot more euf uh, euphoria in the market. Now. I'm not going to count out that we're going to see a rally. Now, I do, if you've seen the last video, you guys should be well aware that I, I am anticipating a rally to take place um, in BTC and in the entire crypto market. But before that rally can uh, take place, I am anticipating something else happen before that. Now, price has come back to the previous, um, the, uh, the 2017 highs, right? And we've been consolidating in this range for about, uh, let's see, about 131 days. So we've been here uh, about a few months now. We've been consolidating. Price has pushed up and down. And we've seen very limited volume within this um, uh, within this range, which tells me one of two things. We're either accumulating or price is... Um, a price is looking to manipulate before we see that next big push in volume and that is the most likely scenario to pull out because look below here we have liquidity right we have the uh, the 17 uh, 17500 uh, k low right which i am expecting to get taken and then we have another um, equal low here now if you don't know what equal low are i'd recommend you go watch the most previous video i uploaded a few days ago um, talking about uh, stop hunts, um, but this is clear, uh, clear liquidity points um, that I'm anticipating to get cleared before we see any potential rally. Now, again, think about it in terms of of, of psychology in the retail trader's mind. Now, we haven't seen. Now, we have seen a bit of a push, which I which I did call uh, publicly in our Telegram group and with private members. We've seen about a twelve percent um, gain, right? Which 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 isn't much. Um, in the grand scheme of things, but we've seen a good thing is we've seen volume in the market after this big um, range. Okay, now what I'm anticipating is two scenarios to play out. First, I'm anticipating a bull trap to take place. Now, and the bull trap I'm looking to take place is between the 21 um, 21.5 k region and um, up to the second region, which is about here. I'm anticipating these two regions to get. Uh, hit okay the this is my main zone which i want to see i want to see price uh come down a bit and then consolidate and then push up cause a bit more euphoria and then we push down the second scenario is price comes down a little bit reaccumulate and then we take these highs right take that liquidity push up higher call, create a lot more euphoria in the market and then we see lower time frame distribution to come back and take all this liquidity here that's what i'm initially anticipating i want to see price a, a clear a distribution on one of these two levels and that's ideally where i would want to uh, take shorts from okay come back down to these to these lows and once price does come back to these lows remember i'm still anticipating that big bear market rally to come so what i want to see play out is something like this now i do have uh, regions um marked out that are sub uh sub 16k right but below here what i want to what i want to see is something like this okay if i do let's do the three day so it can be a bit more easier to show right anticipating something like this price comes up to one of these two levels let's say this level we come down and then these are the zones where i will be looking to uh buy um, spot positions mainly in altcoins um, uh, and um, uh, mainly some altcoins that I have given to private members so if you guys do want to get involved in those buy orders when 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 we do see the scenario play out which I'm very very probable that uh, will play out um, 
this is the region where I will look to take um, uh, 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 buy orders on my alts, uh, which is basically the sev um, the sub 17k region on BTC, and then I want to see that that accumulation on lower time frame before we see that rally uh, come up to my two zones of uh, th uh, the 30k region, and even a price can even come up high uh, as high as the four, uh, the 37k region. Now, if you want to know why I believe um, the price will come up to this region, one bear market rallies can be extremely brutal um, and second reason uh, which I went to a bit more in depth in is in the BTC in the previous BTC video I watched so if you do want a bit more clarity as to why I'm seeing this scenario play out and I'm anticipating it to play out um, uh, you go watch that video and I don't want you guys to think I'm just analyzing the markets off, off front no I'm putting my money where my mouth is and I am taking these buy orders with real hard cash and I will make a um, after I see this scenario play out, I what I will do is I will make another video after the move has played out with showing you guys my live buy orders on my exchange, just so you guys can see that I'm being completely transparent with my orders as well as um, uh, uh, proof that I've shared it with the team as well, so you guys understand uh, how we all capitalizing off the move. So I want to see. So just to summarize, I'm expecting a push up, create a bull trap, more buyers get involved. Right, and then stop all those buy orders out, right? Especially all the stop losses below the 17.5k region. We see that big dump, right? And we're likely to see plus 10% uh, declines in a single day on, on, on most altcoins. And that's where ideally you we, uh, I want to get involved with those orders. Just spots, I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not going to be leveraging, uh, uh, leveraging mainly because of the uh, volatility that I'm anticipating. And then I'm anticipating that big rally to take place. And I'm, uh, and I'm expecting this all to take place before years end, just so hopefully we can capitalize off that end of year. Um, uh, uh, volatility on BTC in particular so that's the scenario right we want to see that bull trap and then come down to take those lows and then accumulation to confuse the retail traders that once we do see that low they're going to anticipate that we're going to come back to uh, um, we're going to come back to the 10k region here right uh, that's what most people are going to be anticipating, uh, especially retail traders. So that this will be the best scenario to shake them out, take all that liquidity from their hunt their stop losses, and then accumulate, and then make that real bear uh, uh, bear market rally move to then get um, to to then get retail traders to buy higher before dumping um, their uh, smart money, dumping their bags on retail traders once again, right? And then anticipating to see something like this to come back down in the market right before we see uh before we see that uh that next bull market start because uh, remember i i don't anticipate this to be the macro low okay i am anticipating the low to get taken and a bear market rally but i do not believe this will be the bear market low i do believe we'll come back and take the low once again to fill in gaps a cme future gap um, and to scare the the sh uh, part of my friends the shit out of traders to collect all that liquidity before we see that next bear market uh, um, start okay which will be in 2024 uh, by the next um, by uh, but, uh, but after about March April I believe is when the next BTC halving is so this is more in line the scenario I am anticipating on um, on BTC so I just want to do a quick little update video for you guys. Um, if you guys do like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It is very much appreciated. And if you guys do want to get involved in this um, in this coming up um, move, um, feel free to hit the link in the description down below so you guys um, can uh, have my charts, my buy orders, and also have updates on where I'll be buying and taking profits at to accumulate for price when it comes back down, um, as well as what coins I will be um uh, accumulating on crypto as well as FX so um, uh, uh, feel free to check all this stuff out and I'll see you guys on the next video bye bye